Hey, welcome back lads. So there is still some new content coming to Vanguard as part of Season 2, and specifically for multiplayer, there is actually an entirely new experience coming, which is kind of a big deal, right? I would actually say that this is like the biggest addition that we've seen since the multiplayer launched. So I want to go over everything that we know about the new large-scale arms race mode that is basically a new take on ground war from modern warfare. It's similar but different at the same time. This could come as early as next week or whenever the mid-season update is supposed to be. So Arms Race is officially described as being bigger than infantry combat, it includes vehicle play like tanks, motorcycles and squad transports, which we do see in the one image that they released showing tanks and such, which is exactly what the season 2 intro cutscene is showing. It's played on the new map called Alps, which is large, snowy as the castle and everything, which is you know much larger than usual to accommodate the vehicles and much more players. We also got a little sneak peek at that in a trailer. The Alps map itself is so big that there is many locations within it, like the castle, the rocket site, the flak tower, and there was a leaked image of the map's entire overview, which I cannot show, but it is large as two spawn bases on either side, and then the five locations in between. So the objective of the mode, it says, is to capture and destroy enemy bases, which is where I think it kind of differs from Modern Warfare's ground war. So ground Around what Modern Warfare was literally just like five flag domination, just domination on a much larger scale, but this is talking about capturing bases and destroying them. And within the map there are five central locations, so you would think it's like five objectives or five flags, right? I have two ideas about how arms race could work if it's not just a larger version of domination, because the wording is a little bit like you know, hard to understand, but it could be like the assault mode from Combined Arms in Cold War, which is honestly also hard to describe. It's, it's like a tug of war, or as the official description says. You push the enemy team back to their side of the map by capturing objectives, which would kind of explain the spawn bases that will exist in Alps. It's like a, a momentum based mode. My other idea is less likely, but it would be like war mode from Cold World War 2, where one team is designated the attackers and the others are the defenders. So the attackers have to push the defending team back, but the defending team cannot push back themselves. They just have to hold out to the time limit, but nothing about that has been mentioned, so I think it's more of like a, a capturing the central objective pushes with the other team back, basically. And the center of Alps is the castle. The other mystery is just how large scale is this gonna be? Is it gonna be like Modern Warfare Ground War, where the maps are not just big, but like enormous, with a total of 64 players, or is it gonna be more like Combined Arms in Cold War, where the maps are just slightly larger, and there's only a total of, what was it, 20 players? So it's just slightly larger than normal? Well, seeing as Vanguard has combat pacings, so you can have up to, what, 40 players on normal maps, I'm hoping that this will be more along the lines of ground war, which I really loved in Modern Warfare. So even though we have some official information about arms race, some of it is kind of hard to decipher until we actually get our hands on the mode itself, but from what I gather it's going to be more on the scale of ground war, but it's not going to be five flag domination, instead there'll be one objective like active at a time, so if that is the case then there's going to be massive battles being concentrated in one area at a time, and that's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just gonna be a madness. And yeah, this will come in the mid-season or season reloaded update, which we don't really know exactly when that's gonna come. It could come as early as next week or perhaps three weeks time, somewhere in between that. Anyways, that's about it, so stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.